UFC Women's Bantamweight Division matchup. Well, she's one of the more well-rounded fighters, DC, that we have in this division. A true mixed martial artist, her first martial art was MMA, that certainly helps. Yes, she's a new breed of fighter. A fighter that, as a young girl, she was brought into a gym, and in that gym, she told the coaches, I don't want to wrestle, I don't want to do jiu-jitsu, I don't want to kick, box, and box. I want to do it all. Right. Is there an MMA class for my daughter to take part in? She did that from day one, and you see all that development over the course of a lifetime has led her to the octagon, where she is already making her impact. Yeah, she said, I didn't want to get to the UFC until I was 100% comfortable in every situation. So far, so good for her. She's got a big one in front of her here tonight. All right, so here is the all-time great, the UFC Hall of Famer, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Of course, she took part in the first women's fight in UFC history back at UFC 157. Went on to fame and fortune, her legacy as well established as any woman in the game. I met Ronda Rousey back at the Olympics in 2008 as a young girl became a Olympic bronze medalist. That was unheard of for someone to do that. And she took that star power and that ability to grapple and applied it right to a mixed martial arts career where she not only captured the UFC title, but also defended it on a number of occasions with her patented arm bar. Every time Ronda fought, people tuned in, they loved it, it was always exciting. And some wondered if she would ever make this walk again. Well, here is Ronda Rousey back in this arena and if her free fight talk is any indication, she's got a point to prove here tonight. All right, just about ready for live action. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. So two years, the gap in age, some differences in height and reach. Here is Bruce Ladies Buffett. and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 11 wins, 5 losses. She stands six feet tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Kansas City, Missouri, USA, Megan Anderson! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a judo fighter, holding a professional record of 12 wins, two losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Venice Beach, California. Okay, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. Scotiabank Arena in Toronto. A lot of big moments for you to get Max Blessed Holloway in this place. Yeah, man, Max Holloway has become almost the home team when he fights in Toronto. They love him here. And every time he fights at the Scotiabank Arena, he puts on the show. Oh, keeping busy here off of her back. Nice offense from the bottom. Man, she's got some good ground and pound. And putting that part of her game to good use tonight. She's putting it to great use, just really damaging from the top position. All right, she's got her in the north-south position now, DC. If you're the bottom fighter, nothing advantageous about it. It's not a good position to be in when you're in the bottom position. You have gotta try to force some sort of improvement. You gotta force some sort of action that will allow you to return to your feet. It's very tough. It's very difficult, but if you're patient, there will be an out presented to you at some point. 
Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. Oh, and she gives up her back here, DC. Not ideal. Not ideal. It's not ideal, but in this state, it's desperation a little bit. She's been getting battered. She's been getting bruised. She was mounted. What was she going to do? Stay on the bottom, get it mounted and beat up? Or was she going to try to give her back to get to her feet? Now the journey, now the fight has really just begun because she has one of the best jiu-jitsu players in the entire world on her back. Ground and pound strike there now. Oh, how about that reversal by her there, champ? That is a fantastic transition by this young lady. What a job. Seconds to go in the opening round. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Under a minute to go in our opening round. Well, Rousey's got the back going for the rear naked choke. Now it's starting to slip under the neck. position, you're looking to pass the half guard pretty quick. Well, oh, absolutely. Trying to get the half guard so I can start to get off ground and pound. This is exactly what she needs to do. Not only does it get you to a position to get off ground and pound, it also takes a lot of the danger away right. from your opponent off of their back. Half guard is not nearly as dangerous as full guard. So get the half, land some ground and pound, get posture, and then continue to dominate on the ground. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like punching technique, that round was about as good as it gets. Yeah, it looks like a boxing fight. She does a great job of using her hands to set everything up. But she's so fast and she's so sharp with those punches. It allowed her to really control that round. She blocked the punch. Oh, really using her reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Straight punch land. Just out of range with that right hand. Good body shot. Oh, how about the timing and the execution to get the ankle pick? And she's back in the clinch. Outstanding job by her there to change levels and get this fight to the ground. What do you guys call that, an ankle pick? I mean, that's an ankle pick. There's a lot that goes into it for her to execute it in a fight. Amazing. in a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need to do. Master class in changing position, unreal to see. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Rousey. Three minutes. Oh, she gives up her back here, DC, so she's got a lot of work to do now. What do you do, tuck the chin, hand fight? You've got to tuck the chin. You've got to bring both hands to the hands, because as your chin is going down, your opponent's going to be attacking your neck. Two hands on one, force it down, build your base, try to get back to your feet, and if worse comes to worse, give up the mount, right. because the mount is better than having this fighter on your back. Nothing fun about it. We'll see if she can escape here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, right in the mouth. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success in this position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side underhook, and she just goes to work with that left arm. She's posting an elbow. She's building her posture, punching. There are just so many different ways for her to score strikes 
from this position. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. While her opponent is squirming, and this might be the beginning of the end, the ground and pound strikes continue to land at will. She's landing it over and over again. She needs to make sure that when she's chasing the finish, she doesn't get excited and lose the position. Well, Rousey's back in half there. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. All right, big round four there. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And a lot of these pictures are going to be rooted in that killer ground and pound. Yeah, she got the fight where she needed it to be. You knew that if she was going to be ahead, if she was going to be the one winning, she needed to be on top, landing that beautiful ground and pound. She got the fight where she wanted it, and you see the result. Her dominating the action at the close of the round. All right, champ, here we go with our next round. There are a lot of bad spots you can be in in mixed martial arts, but I can't think of many worse ones than being underneath this ground and pound attack. That was insane. No, she is a beast when it comes to the ground and pound. Hey, on your back in a triangle body or whatever the body, uh, oh. on your back in a body triangle, it sucks. But what's much worse is being underneath this young lady while she's got posture trying to finish you. It is brutal to watch. She has big power and she winds up everything, and she is so accurate that she can almost guess where you're gonna move when she's gonna throw her strikes, and they land, and they land with some force. Oh, she's mean. She's literally trying to rearrange your face. She's like, trying she to She don't want your relatives to recognize you after the fight. And you, and you said she's a nice girl, but is she really nice? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Pretty mean tonight. <laughs> Oh, sage work from the bottom here as she tags her with the punch. Half guard position for her here, and if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you gotta pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you gotta be trying to find a way to escape that bottom leg. You cannot allow your opponent, you cannot allow her to sit on your leg and just throw big damage and strikes. You got to make sure you're on an elbow control, an underhook, and getting back to your feet. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing this skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Gets the elbow up into the target. The ground and pound has been there all night. Come on, let's go, do something. Well, you gotta try to stay busy off of your back. Well, Rousey's going for the arm submission. Full guard now, DC, and just because she has the top position does not mean she is not in imminent danger. Oh, she's in danger at all moments. Trying to set up a rear naked choke, first order of business, take the back, she's got it. Now it's starting to slip under the neck. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, saved by the bell, round over. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the sufficient attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell, back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. At times, it looked as though she was literally trying to punch her face through the floor. Yeah, she was trying to punch her face through the floor. That's what she does, though. I mean, that is her calling card. That is what she's known for. The moment she gets down, it is just vicious. Grounded pound from the top position. She is a master of posturing. She is a master of control. And the moment she gets an opportunity, she really does brutalize you. Oh, she lost the punch. Nice punch by Ronda Rousey.
goes in and secures the takedown. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yes, yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has a half guard because she's so brutal with the ground and pound. She likes to go at nice takedown, and that takedown was because she had to get that takedown. Oh, that's a beautiful escape and reversal by her there. Unbelievable sweep she did. And looks like she's going to attempt the rear naked choke. career. All right, so there's the end of the round. And in terms of offensive wrestling execution, she had it all going there. Yeah, she had it all working. She did everything she wanted to do. She was racing to position. Once she got to a leg, she didn't pause. She didn't stop. She went right to the finishes that she needed in order to get the fight to the ground. I mean, that was a great display of offensive wrestling. So that win by submission figures to silence any remaining doubters, and that certainly puts the rest of the division on notice. Huge result for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 36 seconds of round number four, declaring the winner by tap out. <laughs> She is. A lot of people felt like this fight was destined to go the distance. She had other ideas. She said that if this fight went to the ground, it did not matter how good her opponent is. She was one to submit her. She did exactly that. She feels like she's levels above the rest of the game in the grapple.